Winter. Hey, what is up guys? Spectre again, and this week I wanted to take a look at one of my favorite high-end weapons, and that's the high-end first wave M1A sniper rifle. I used to have the purple version of this gun, but I recently got the high-end and I'm loving it so far, so let's jump right into it. Taking a look at the weapon stats, it has a 158% buff to headshot damage, does 40.9k damage with 300 rounds per minute, and 10 bullets to the mag. Now keep in mind, this is all without mods. Moving down to the talents, we have Restored. Killing a target with this weapon removes all negative status effects. We also have Trained. Critical hits increase signature skill resources by 10%. And finally, Stable. Stability is improved by 46%. Now this is by no means my favorite role. I don't even use two of the talents that are on here, but I do like the fact that Stable is on there, as you can always use more stability in a sniper rifle. Now when I'm trained on a target, I like to hit that target with shot after shot, with very little time in between. So in order to show just how much recoil this gun has without any mods, I'm just going to continuously pull the trigger without fighting the recoil at all. And I'll try to keep all my shots in the center of the target. As you can see, there's quite a bit of vertical jump here, especially if you're going for those headshots. In desperate moments, I'll use my sniper rifle to fire over cover even on some close range targets if I'm out of ammo on my primary, as this sniper does hit pretty hard, so I'm going to take cover and shoot over it and just again not fight the recoil at all. Again, I usually do this in those pinch moments when my primary is out of ammo or I just don't want to reload and I want to keep doing damage quickly. And here's some mid-range fire for good measure. Now that you've seen the weapon's recoil, let's mod it and see if we can fix that. First, I pair the weapon with the CQBSS high-end scope, which adds 22.50 headshot damage and 6.50% critical hit chance to this sniper rifle, and it also buffs the DPS a pretty respectable amount. Next, I use this purple extended mag, which gives me 10.50% buff to weapon damage and also increases my mag size by 78%, bumping that count up to 17 bullets to a mag, which is pretty nice on a sniper rifle. After that, I use this high-end hand stop, which adds 22% accuracy and adds yet another buff to my stability with 36.50%. And again, this buffs up my DPS a respectable amount. I also use this flash hider, which gives me 18.50% buff to accuracy and an 18% reduced threat. So I'll give you a look at some long-range fire. Again, I will not fight the recoil. I'll just keep repeatedly pulling the trigger, and afterwards, I will fight the recoil. And now I'll try to hit the target as accurately as possible while fighting the recoil. Now again, I'll duck behind cover. Again, I do this when I'm in a pinch, and I just switch out to my second weapon because the first is out of ammo, or I simply don't have enough time to reload the first, and I just need to down an enemy. Overall, I really love the first wave M1A. When I had the purple version, I really didn't think I would find a high-end weapon to replace it, but then once I got this, it was everything that I wanted and more. For those of you skilled marksmen, this will be a great weapon, and for those of you who really aren't and don't use sniper rifles very often, it's a really forgiving weapon, especially with such a large mag and a high firing rate. 
Not only is it accurate at extremely long distances, it hits like a train if you decide to use it for some close range action in an emergency situation. I greatly recommend that you get your hands on it if you ever see it in rotation at one of the vendors. I highly recommend it to any sharpshooters out there and it's just a great weapon overall. Make sure to check out my other reviews for weapons like the High End Vector and Black Market AK-74 and leave a like below and even a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Winter.